Hey guys, good morning. I'm driving to my ballet lesson right now. Today, I will take you with me to my private ballet lesson where I dance and do point shoes. So it's going to be so much fun. I've been on point a couple of weeks. It's hard guys. It's not as easy as it looks. It is very complicated. I'm struggling with chenille turns. I can't imagine what pirouettes will be or foie turns. So stay with me till the end of the video. It will be so awesome. Uh, squeeze more of the top of your thighs. You know what I mean? Less, less feet, more thighs, so that once you squeeze your thighs, they'll land. It's now squeezing at the top. So feel the difference? Okay, do it again. At the top. That was key. <laughs> like flippers. Do it again. All the way at the top. Closer. Now PK turn. And up. Lift. Now go straight up. <laughs> tiny, right? Yes, tiny. Yeah, tiny. So quasi has to be 90 degrees, not 25. Mm -hmm. But also when you when you play quasi this time, and I think you'll do it again, you're playing backwards. Over. Because do you feel like you can pick your heels off the ground with feet? No. Right? Mm -hmm. I don't need to actually do it, but what I'm saying is you have to have the feeling of that with light in the hip. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. Ready? And go. Up. Your go, go, go. You should be in the back of the Heels forward. This one. This no, this one. Yeah. Over your hips. Now arms up and lift. There you go. But you're bringing them in down here. Bring them in, remember, at your chest, not your stomach. Connect your foot faster. Right away. There you go. But then your arm stopped and your leg kept going. You want to make sure that the leg and the arm stop at the same time so that it comes out. Mm -hmm. Don't let your rotation go in. Push off your back foot. Now both. Stop the front. Right? I know. Exactly. I tried her porn shows. Oh, you did? Because we have the same size. Oh, yeah. I'm like, she says they're small, but they're not small. You know? I'm they're like, just why someone would do this to, to themselves? Like, it, yeah, this is so hard. And it's so uncomfortable. Yeah, it's not comfy. It's so, it's so pretty like to watch and yeah. do it, but it is not. It's not for the weak, that's for sure. <laughs> and extend it out and flex, work through the foot to point and close. That's it. And push. Good. And flex and point and close. Turn out first position. Cross the right foot over and press straight down. Good. Make sure that heel is pushing forward. And flex and point and close. Left foot. And straighten. Half toe, lift slowly, demi, and straighten, half toe all the way up. Good, down up, down up, down up, hold, down up, down up, let go and balance. Don't let the ankles move. Remember, right when you're there, keep them completely still. Good, now put your hands back on the bar. Now just quarter toe, go quarter toe and press. Don't drop your heels at all. Heels to seven, stay on eight, hold. Watch your feet hard. Harder. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, you can. Now remember, that now we're gonna squeeze to fifth position, so you're gonna close in fifth and plie and resist coming in, go. Good, that was better, good. Okay, so do you, like, sometimes you get too much jump on point? Do you feel when you jump, yeah. Different than when you pull your toes under you? Yeah. Okay, so I want you to work more on pulling the toes under you, less on lifting off the floor and crashing to the floor, yeah? Okay, so you're starting with this. You're going to go susu, eshpe, susu, eshpe. You're going to eshpe to four. You're going to eshpe to second. You're going to eshpe to fourth, plie, and you're going to passe your elbow. Okay, ready? Here we go. And we go. And susu, susu, and eshpe. Susu. Okay, you got eshpe, not four. But make sure that uh, when you estrogate, it's wide, wide enough that you have to point really hard to stay on point, okay? Um, and heels, no heels on the ground. I'm still hearing your heels pushing to the floor. 
Ready, go. And Susu. Jump in. That was a jump. Do it again. Ah, that was beautiful. That's what we need to keep doing. And then close. Susu and out. That was jumping. There. That's a little better. And close. Eshete, good. No, uh, just Eshete close fit. Eshete fit. Eshete fit. Eshete fit. Eshete fourth. Plie. Pass it. Connect your foot to your knee. Good. Push the heel forward. Pull the ankle. I want you to completely feel all of this pulling up. Yeah. Pull it. Now squeeze fit back. from my ballet lesson and I'm a little bit tired. My feet don't hurt as much um, after point shoes as they used to when I first put them on because they're kind of used to more now. Before point shoes, I thought roller skates were so uncomfortable. My feet were in pain, they were hurting and it was uh, very bad. But now roller skates are just cozy socks in terms of point shoes. They're the most uncomfortable shoes in the world, I think. They ruin your feet, but it looks so pretty when you dance in them. I love point. It is so much fun. <laughs> and I'm very glad that I started doing private lessons with my amazing teacher because uh, before I was struggling with some concepts like how to do this move or this turn or how to develop it the right way when you're on releve. So uh, yeah, I'm very 
glad I started taking private lessons and it was a great help for me. And even though it is very hard and complicated, there are so many rules on point shoes and in ballet in general. It is so much fun. I don't regret that I do ballet or just got point shoes and ruining my feet. As long as I'm ruining my feet and not my hands, I'm okay because I'm a violinist and I need to keep my hands safe and perfect so I can play my instrument. But the feet, I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do care, but who looks at your feet, guys? You're always like in shoes or socks or in point shoes if you're dancing, so yeah. The other reason that I don't do competition on dance or gymnastics or volleyball practices or basketball practices or team because if I ruin my hands then I can't or like my fingers if I break something or sprain something then I can't play the violin for quite a while so I don't want that to happen because I love violin so much is my dearest friend my violin I love you and of course point shoes are my dearest friends too <laughs> I'm happy that I can do ballet and that doesn't ruin my hands ruins my feet <laughs> My mommy drove me and today she was watching how I was um, point shoes for the first time. It was yeah. awesome. She was so amazing. I'm so proud of you. Thank you, mommy. I wasn't that amazing. I was falling all over the place. You were amazing to me. I can't even, when I tried your point shoes, I couldn't even stand on my feet in them because they're so uncomfortable. <laughs> yes, from this part, they're like, grabbing like this part so much um, from your ball of the foot to the toe and it is so uncomfortable but it's worth it <laughs> so get point shoes and start doing ballet lessons yeah be prepared it's very hard yeah but first you need to have um, your ankles strengthened and um, the technique correct before starting point Guys, thank you so much for going along with me to this journey, watching how I got my point shoes, my ballet journey. It is really great support for me. And thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Stay tuned for more videos and I'll see you very soon.